welcome to all today we are starting with a topic known as the plant kingdom and in plant kingdom we are discussing today about the algae the algae word is actually coming from a latin word alga and the meaning of the alga is the seaweed okay and this term algae was first of all given by linnaeus okay and the father of the phycology or the algology is called as the f e fritch and the father of the indian phycology is m o p ayangar okay and the study of the algae is called as algology or phycology now let's have a discussion on the characteristic feature of the algae the algae is a chlorophyll bearing plants they are simple category of the plants which are having thallus body their plant body is thallus what is thallus in which the true root stem and leaves are absent are actually called as the thallus bodies okay so they are chlorophyll bearing plants which are having simple organization and they have the thalloid plant body habitat maximum algae are found in aquatic environment they may be found in fresh water or they may be found in marine water but there are various habitats on which the algae may be found say for they may be found on moist stones soil wood snow and many other habitats okay now some algae are also found in association with fungi and the association of the algae and the fungi is called as the lichen okay not only this some algae is also occur in association with the animals say for the algae is may be found in association with animal just like the sloth bear okay now if we talk about the form and the size of the algae the form and the size of the algae varies greatly they may be microscopic they may be filamentous or they may be very large forms also say for the size and the form of the algae is variable the best example of the microscopic unicellular form of the algae is the chlamydomonas volvox is an example of the colonial form of the algae eulothrix and spirogyra are the examples of the filamentous forms of the algae and the kelps kelps are nothing they are the brown algae and they are found in marine water and kelps are said that they are the most largest type of the algae sometimes they are having the size of 100 meters also so kelps are forming massive plant bodies in the marine water so we can say that they vary greatly in form algae are autotrophic why because they are having the chlorophyll they are having the pigments they can prepare their own food and they are fixing half of the total co2 on the earth means whatever the co2 fixation on earth occur of that 50% of the co2 fixation is done by the algae algae are having the cell wall that's why they are included in the plant kingdom and the cell wall is made up of cellulose and pectin they are having a very little differentiation of the tissue we can also say that in them the tissue system is absent they lack vascular tissues in fact the larger forms are also not having the vascular tissues means they are not having any type of xylem and phloem now the classification of the algae is based on the pigments means they are having the pigments chlorophyll a and beta carotene are the universal pigments found in the algae and some more pigments are also found say for the chlorophyll c chlorophyll d okay that will depend on the type of the algae that whether the algae is green algae or the brown algae or the red algae but universal pigments are chlorophyll a and beta carotene in them the reproduction occur by three methods that is vegetative vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction okay now the vegetative reproduction can occur by two major methods one is the binary fission in which the cell divides by mitosis into two daughter cell but the condition is that that binary fission or the fission can occur only in unicellular algal forms only 
and the most common method which generally occurs in maximum algae and that method of the vegetative reproduction is the fragmentation where the thallus breaks down into many fragments and each fragment give rise to a new plant and such type of the vegetative reproduction is found in the filamentous algae now the asexual reproduction as we know that asexual reproduction in the case of the algae occur with the help of the spores now spores may be of two types one are known as the motile spores another are known as the non motile spores zoo spores which are called as the motile spores are actually formed in the favorable condition and they are motile because they have flagella okay the another type of the spores are called as the non motile spores there are many type of the non motile spores found in the algae which are formed under the unfavorable conditions okay and they have a thick wall around them zoo spores are not having wall around them but the non motile spores are having unfavorable uh, they are actually formed in the unfavorable conditions and hence they have a thick wall say for a planospore hypnospore echinids etc okay now sexual reproduction in them the sexual reproduction is also present and sexual reproduction occur by the fusion of the gametes okay but the modes of the sexual reproduction are of three types isogamous and isogamous and oogamous some algae are having isogamous some are having anisogamous and some are having anisogamous condition here the fusion of the two gametes are always fusion of the two gametes which are similar in size the condition is that that in isogamous condition in the isogamous type of the sexual reproduction the two fusing gametes are same in size though they may be flagellated or non flagellated though they may be flagellated or non flagellated say for cladophora if you see the cladophora algae then both the gametes are having the flagella right some more examples are clavidomonas dibarianum clavidomonas dibarianum now species is important because the clavidomonas may have an isogamous condition also but the clavidomonas dibarianum is the species which is having the isogamous condition okay and also i am quoting the cladophora cladophora is having the isogamous condition okay now an isogamous now what is this mode of sexual reproduction an isogamous as the name is indicating here the fusing gametes are not at all similar in size they are dissimilar in size say for the example is clamidomonas browni clamidomonas browni it is having the an isogamous type of the sexual reproduction and what is oogamous oogamous condition is a condition in which the female gamete it, it is a, the condition in which the female gamete is non motile and large in size and the male gamete is smaller in size but it is motile okay and the oogamous condition is found in the volvox and the fucus now we must also know about that what type of the sex what type of the sex organs are found so we will be now talking about the sex organs found in the group algae now the sex organ the male sex organ is called as the antheridium male sex organ is called as antheridium and the female sex organ is called as oogonium now sex organs male sex organ male sex organ antheridium and female sex organ female sex organ is oogonium now you have to remember this thing that the sex organs are in algae in algae sex organs are unicellular sex organs are unicellular and jacket less the point to be remembered is that that the sex organs are unicellular and jacketless but there is a exception here that exception is of the cara where the sex organs are sex organs are multicellular 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 
एंड जैकेटेड मल्टी सेलर एंड जैकेटेड ओके नाउ यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इन कारा इन कारा मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड एज मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड एज ग्लूब्यूल इन सिंपल टर्म्स वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज एंथ्रीडियम एंथ्रीडियम एंड इन कारा फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड एज क्यूप्यूल न्यूक्यूल न्यूक्यूल फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्यूल ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ओगोनियम right and now in algae remember this thing that in algae due to fertilization due to fertilization zygote is formed zygote is formed but zygote never converts into embryo but embryo is absent embryo is absent what the point to be note, noted here is that embryo is absent zygote is not converted into the embryo here what happens the zygote is to end so what happens that in zygote meiosis occur in zygote meiosis occur meiosis occur in zygote meiosis occur and we know very well that meiosis is a reductional division meiosis is a reductional division which is here also called as zygotic which is also called as zygotic meiosis zygotic meiosis normally in zygote mitosis occur but here in the case of the algae in zygote what happens zygotic meiosis occur and what is formed n is formed so n plant body is formed n plant body is formed and this plant body is the new plant body of the algae so we can say that zygote never forms embryo zygote undergoes meiosis known as the zygotic meiosis and n plant body is formed this zygote will give rise to a new plant which will be haploid it means algae in algae in means in algae haploid stage is dominant haploid stage is dominant also called also called gametophytic stage also called gametophytic stage gametophytic stage is n what is gametophytic stage that is known as the gamete forming stage gamete forming stage so in algae haploid stage is dominant also called as gametophyte stage and sporophyte stage sporophyte stage means spore forming stage sporophyte stage which is the twin sporophyte stage is sporophyte stage is domin it's not dominant is dependent on is dependent on gametophyte right what i want to say in algae haploid stage is dominant haploid stage is dominant also called as a gametophyte stage and sporophyte is dependent on gametophyte means the sporophyte stage is formed here you can see that to any stage is formed that is the zygote but it's not formed for a long period it's formed for a short period and soon the zygote undergoes meiosis and again the gametophytic stage is formed so in algae haploid stage is dominant over the sporophytic stage means sporophyte stage is dependent on gametophyte and this gametophyte gametophyte and sporophyte stage gametophyte and sporophyte stage show alternation of generation alternation of generation you know what is alternation of generation means n to n n to n like this side this is called as alternation of generation and at the last you must know that as we know that in algae haploid stage is dominant so we can say that life cycle of algae life cycle of algae is haplontic as the haploid stage is dominant so we can say life cycle of uh, algae is haplontic but there is a exception 
there is an exception and that is known as the fucus fucus algae in fucus algae exceptionally in fucus algae life cycle life cycle life cycle is diplontic life cycle is diplontic otherwise in all other members the life cycle is haplontic okay so dear student this video was based on the general features of the algae in this video we have discussed just the general features only in the coming videos we will be discussing about the economic importance of the algae as well as some special features of the algae so keep watching my videos